He said, you know, in the eight years that I have known that I'm fighting this illness, and in the last six months when the doctors have told me you will not live longer than six months, anyone in that situation would have gone mad. A lot of times we tell people to find solace and comfort in the Masaib of Hussein But I tell you when you cannot find solace and comfort in anything else, then reflect on the Musibah of Zainab She will inspire you in ways that you cannot imagine. You know, I have a dear friend who passed away just about three weeks ago after a long battle with cancer. And he had all but stopped even going to the mosque because with all the chemotherapy and so on, you know, he couldn't bear scents and people applied perfume and so on. And about, you know, a month or two ago when we were marking the wiladat of Sayyidah Zainab salam, I used to speak to him often and, you know, he said to me, today I'm going to the mosque. I said to him, why are you going to the mosque? Because I know the scent and today is wiladat of Sayyidah Zainab. There will be perfume, people will be applying, it will bother you. He said, I have to go and pay my respects to this Bibi. And you know, these are his exact words in Gujarati. He said to me, Bibi no haq ada karwa jauj. So I said to him, what do you mean that you're going to pay your respects and this haq that you do ada of Zainab He said, you know, in the eight years that I have known that I'm fighting this illness, and in the last six months when the doctors have told me you will not live longer than six months and almost to the date he lived for only six months, anyone in that situation would have gone mad. And I have seen very few people like him who had such courage. But he says, what keeps me going every day is the words of Zainab And I said, what words are these? He said, when Yazid had taken everything she had, when he had killed her sons and her brother, when he had tied her in ropes and chains, when he had trampled the body of her brother, when he had brought her to his darbar, where his ambassadors and viziers were sitting on thrones, when he thought he had broken Zainab, and then he looked at her and said, Oh Zainab, now that Allah has killed your brother and your sons, and now that Allah has punished you in this manner, what do you think of what Allah has done with you and your family? He said, Zainab looked back at him and said, Ma ra'aytu illa jamila. I have not seen anything in Allah's decree except beauty. <laughs> and he said to me, I have to go and do this haqq ada and thank her. That if I have withstood my suffering, it is because of these words that ring in my ears. Ma ra'aytu illa jamila. You see, 1400 years later, how she inspires, if you understand who Zainab is. And I am being audacious in saying that the Masaib of Zainab was greater than the Masaib of Hussein. Why? Because at the end of Hussein's trials, there was shahada, there was maqam, he went back to Rasulullah, there was the end of his thirst and hunger, he was again with his Ali Yunil Akbar and Abu Fadl al Abbas. But Zainab salam, had to continue living with the loss of Hussein. And having to live behind, to stay behind, knowing you have lost someone like Hussein, that is the musibah that is unbearable.